Hey guys, this is Metal Stash here, and this week's video is not going to be about uh, Unity or my RTS game that I've been working on. Instead, I uh, because I have finals this or this week, and I you know they've been taking up a lot of time just studying for them, and teachers always give you uh, lots of work to do, so. Uh, I kind of found this uh, interesting program. There's a reason why my desktop is uh, completely empty. It's because I found this cool program called uh, Rain Meter. It is a uh, like Windows. Or I don't know if it's Windows specific. I think it runs on Mac too. But uh, you can customize your desktop completely to look like uh, you know whatever you want to make it look like. So. Uh, it's pretty cool, so let me show you guys what I've created. Or, actually, let me explain it a little bit more. So, I found Rain Meter and was like, cool, this is, you know, kind of interesting. And, you know, tried to find a Gears of War uh, skin or theme type design. Couldn't find one. So, what I decided to do is to make one myself. And when you start off I'll actually show you what you get when you first boot up rain meter it is uh, just a basic design where you have a uh, clock your system specs your hard drive specs you have your network and uh, RSS feed which is pretty cool your uh, recycling bin and then you can also do a Google search which is kinda cool from the desktop and then just kind of a welcome thing uh, you have your manual tutorials and different skins type of thing. Uh, so what I did is I created my own skin because I wanted something cool on my desktop. And in my opinion, this is kind of cool. Uh, you know, I, if anyone's played Gears of War, you'll you'll recognize most everything on here including the crimson omen in the middle which is uh, actually my hard drive spec it's a uh, 75 percent full which is quite a bit that's because I have a lot of a lot of stuff on my laptop and it's not a huge hard drive but I try to keep uh, you know at least 50 gigs free which is what's there now about so you have at the top middle here, or actually very top middle, yeah, I just have a, a clock displaying my uh, the day that it is, which today it is Saturday, almost midnight, and single de mile also, and then the uh, the time of day, whether it be a.m. or p.m. is just a.p. And then you have your recycling bin down here, where if I click on it. It will open up the recycling bin and tell me what is in there, and uh, it's just a couple of things in there that, like, a bunch of shortcuts I've been deleting because all of these are uh, actually shortcuts that I've added to uh, the rain meter skin. And then over here is just a uh, home folder type of thing where if you click on it, it brings you to my to your home address or home folder or whatever, and you got your your quick links to your documents, downloads, stuff like that. And then over on the left with the shotgun you got the search bar to uh, Google search and then I have a couple of quick links to like Yahoo, Facebook and my Gmail and stuff like that. And then I have my CPU specs of how hard my hard drive is or my processor is running. Right now I'm uh, recording my screen so it runs you know quite a bit and then my RAM and uh, swap usage and then I have over here my uh, it's just a network thing where it tells me my upload or download speed that I'm running at and then these are just banners to hold uh, different links to programs that I mainly use most often and I have a lot of design programs that I use uh, and you know a few games but I, I, I like I like the free games I like a lot of free stuff and this is free so if you want to check it out you can just go to uh, rainmeter.net 
it is a uh, completely free program to customize your desktop. There are two different types. There's a uh, stable version, which is 2.2 currently, and a beta version, which is 2.3. Uh, I don't know if the beta version has many bugs with it. I would suggest the stable version because I don't like to mess with a lot of beta stuff because they usually have quite a bit of issues with them but I think it's just like you get the newest uh, untested uh, features so they're still mainly stable you just get some of the features aren't necessarily as stable as they should be so I uh, you know that that was kind of about it for this video you know I've just wanted to I uh, kind of show you guys what I've been doing for the past week because I I haven't really been working on my Unity game. I, yeah, I haven't had much time, and then I also kind of fell upon this, and I always, I always get sidetracked sometimes into new things, and you know, sometimes you have to take somewhat of a uh, break because I've been working on it so long, and you know, I, I'm gonna have to do a lot, lot of debugging on certain things. So, I, for my other videos, uh, I'm going to be starting, I think I said this in my last video, I'm going to be starting a uh, another video series which is kind of looking into the free uh, assets in the asset store within Unity. Uh, there's a lot of cool things that are free in Unity that I have seen and I'm going to be doing some videos on those so I show you guys, you know, what, what are the cool you know what I've kind of gotten from them so you know maybe you guys can uh, you know find ones that you find useful and you know download them and try them out and see if you like them so uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll hopefully have a video uh, probably in the next week I mean, I have my finals, but I, they don't actually start till like Tuesday, so I'll probably have some time to do another video. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.